the family at the center of the Oscar-winning film The Blind Side, now on defense. Do you have any place to say tonight? Don't you dare lie to me. Come on. After former NFL player Michael Orr filed a lawsuit against them, claiming he was lied to and exploited for their financial gain. But the Tui family is flipping the script. In a statement to NBC News, their attorney alleges or previously threatened them in an attempted shakedown, saying he would plan a negative story about them in the press unless they paid him $15 million. In an interview Monday promoting his new book, Orr did not address the lawsuit, but expressed some frustration with how he was portrayed. When I moved in with the Tui's family, who uh, I'm grateful for for letting me uh, stay my senior year there, but you have to understand, and I was an All-American football player before I moved in with him. Do you want to stay here, Michael? Just as the film depicts or describes in new court documents how he was on his own in high school and nearly penniless, he says in 2004, just before his senior year, the Tuies invited him to live with them, eventually discussing adoption. Or claims he was tricked into signing documents he believed were a necessary step in the adoption process. But just six months ago, he says he learned he was never adopted. Instead, Sean and Leanne Tui became his conservators. In an interview with the Daily Memphian, Sean Tui said the conservatorship was a way to secure Orr's NCAA eligibility to play college football, saying lawyers advised, we couldn't adopt over the age of 18. The only thing we could do was to have a conservatorship. Orr claims the Tuies used their power as his conservators to give away the rights to his life story without him receiving any payment while they profited. Now he wants the money he believes he's owed. The family denies the accusations. How come we're not eating at one of your restaurants tonight? Well, because tonight is a special occasion. Sean Tui built and sold a successful restaurant empire. His attorney saying, the notion that a couple worth hundreds of millions of dollars would connive to withhold a few thousand dollars in profit participation payments from anyone, let alone from someone they loved as a son, defies belief. Michael Orr's petition to the court asks for an end to the conservatorship. The Tui's attorney says should Mr. Orr wish to terminate the conservatorship either now or at any time in the future, the Tui's will never oppose it in any way. They add the family hopes they can someday be reconciled with Orr, but they will not hesitate to defeat what they call an offensive lawsuit. Guys. All right. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Let's bring in uh, NBC senior legal correspondent Laura Jarrett. First of all, this is just a all around kind of sad, sad yeah. yes. bummer of a story. But let's talk about what the Tui said. They said that their only choice was to have a conservatorship because he was too old to adopt. So is that is that what you see as the case? And under Tennessee law, that makes sense. But also, usually a conservatorship, everyone remembers this from the debacle with Britney Spears and yeah. her father. Yeah. The yeah. whole point is somebody who is not in a position to take care of their finances. So it's either someone who's underage yeah. or, you know, sort of impaired in some way. Now, it's not clear that at 37 years old, he needs to still have the conservatorship. And if they're not contesting it, the judge is probably going to let them out of it. The issue is whether he should be entitled to some sort of back pay or money because they're saying, he's saying that they made a lot of, you know, a lot of money off of his likeness and using his image. Mm. But again, it's just not clear that he's going to be able to get any remedy from that. But Laura, what about this idea that, that, that Mike or his claim that he didn't even know he yeah. was part of this conservatorship for 20 years. Yeah. Does a judge or a jury buy that? I think that's going to be tough for him. It's just for after 20 years, the idea that you didn't know that you can enter into any contracts. Clearly, he was playing in the NFL. He was entering into a lot of different deals. And so I think it's going to be hard. It's going to be a tough road to be able to prove that in court. I think it comes down to money. Isn't that the yeah. bottom line and whether he can get any? And they and they, I think they have a pretty good argument that, look, they're wealthy. They made a lot of money, not up from this movie at all, but through their restaurant, the restaurant. deals. And so did they yeah. need 40 grand? from the from the but movie. What it's about just... that bit that said that he originally tried to get 15 million from them beforehand, before this whole thing came and to And I life. think that that's going to be a tough fact. If that's true if that's and true. the Tuohys can prove that in court, I think yeah. that's going to be really tough for him. Okay. All right, Laura, yeah, thank, thank you so much. You. We appreciate thank it. And to your point, though, the whole thing, the back and just, forth. Ugh, is just just yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.